So I mentioned about like DC charging, right? And I, why I don't want to depend on DC charging so much, right? So what's so bad about DC charging? I think similar to smartphones as well. You don't want to always uh, do fast charging all the time because um, it will degrade your overall battery lifespan because it, it, when you use DC charging, it stresses the battery out. It actually um, increases the temperature of the battery and that's mm. no good in the long run. So ideally, you should use it sparingly. Mm. So like for example, you're going to charge it overnight. For example, like a phone overnight, right? There's no need to have, have fast charging because there's no rush. You know? mm. You're know, you going to leave it there for eight hours. So you, you're better off having like a slow and steady charger to do the overnight charging. Yeah, and uh, so so for those who don't know, DC charging is just, it's super fast charging for the electric vehicle, right? A DC, char- a fast charger is maybe what, 40 kilowatts and above. and above. So if you're getting 40 kilowatts and above, some chargers, like the fastest one we got was from Gentari that's available in Sunway Serene. It's capable of pushing 350 kilowatts. So fair warning here, not a lot of cars can support 350 watts, 350 kilowatts fast charging. So sometimes maybe you don't need such a fast charger. Um, 40 or 60 kilowatts, uh, 40 to, sorry, 60 to 80 kilowatts is probably the sweet spot. And yeah, my advice would be to use it sparingly because like you mentioned, uh, it's not good to just shove the electrons into the battery as fast as possible. The battery will just wear out. So one wear and tear componentry in an EV is the battery. As much as possible, try to charge the car using AC charging, which is about 11 to 22 kilowatts. Uh, it's going to take about maybe four to five hours to charge your car from 20% to 80 or 90%, but that's fine. So have it overnight or have it at work or have it when you're at a mall. When the car's idling. Yeah, yeah. Where, the car, where you're going to be somewhere for a long mm. time. Uh, DC charging is good when you need the speed. So let's say you're traveling interstate, you're traveling from uh, KL to Johor, for example, and you need to charge your car um, in between, right? You don't want to stop for four or five hours. You want to stop for maybe maximum 30 minutes. And that's where DC charging comes in. And DC charging is only practical from maybe, what, 20, 10, 20% to 80%. Yep. Because after that, the time it takes, so it, let's say... Uh, the fastest that we that I got on my uh, Kia EV6 is I can charge from 20 to 80% in less than 20 minutes. So it's, it, it takes me less than 20 minutes to fill up my car 60 uh, up to six to, to fill up the 60% capacity of my car, right? Battery, battery capacity. After that, from 80% to 20%, it's probably going to take this another, 20, another minutes. 20 minutes or even longer. Just because the, the the physics and the chemistry of the battery does not allow for you to cram in that much electrons into the battery at the same amount of time. So it's not practical for you to charge your car all the way to 100% using DC charging. So there's no point. Yeah, on that note also, I'll, okay, I want to elaborate further on the charging mechanism because um, a lot of EV chargers in Malaysia, they charge based on time and time is of the essence because uh, like for example, the Shell recharge stations along the North Highway, they're charging as high as 4 ringgit per minute and it can support up to 180 kilowatt hour. So imagine this, if you have like let's say uh, EV that couldn't support 180, maybe can support 80 kilowatt hour, it's going to take longer time to charge. And normally how the charging curve works is that on DC charge side, similar to your smartphone you notice like an apple samsung advertise fast charging right they will say oh zero to 50 percent in 30 minutes the reason why is because the 50 to 100 percent takes so much longer so if you're going to use this dc charging that's based on time you should rec- we recommend that you stop at 80 percent because when you first plug it in like the kia ev6 you can go like 230 to 237 kilowatt hour yeah. for the first like 50 percent then maybe 50 60 percent it starts to drop to 180 mm. then when you reach 80 percent it might drop to like 60 or 50 much lower so it's not worth the time so that's why you hear some stories people say oh I spent 150 bucks on DC charging actually it's not necessarily yeah they could pay like half the price if mm. they stop at 80% yeah yep, yep. 